<laughs> Great intro. I have somewhere to be tomorrow, which is really cool that I have somewhere to be because I never have anywhere. No, but honestly, I have somewhere really cool to go tomorrow. And um, I need to go to bed and get a good sleep. I'll show you guys tomorrow though. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready? Roll the clip of the coolest moment that's ever gonna happen to me. This is the Canadian um, Screen Awards press conference. And right down there's the green room because I've been here before as a VIP. And um, so Canadian Screen Awards is kind of like the Golden Globes of Canada. Um, am I allowed to talk about this? I got an email from the production company that did the National Geographic thing I did like a year ago. And um, yeah, and they said that they entered me and I was like, okay, so I get to go and look. And this is the thing where they announce if you're nominated. Which is a thing that's not gonna happen. But I'm like, I'm gonna go anyway and live it up and hopefully see some famous people. Probably not because Canadians aren't that famous. But um, yeah, that's what's happening. And look at this. Good morning everyone, welcome to the Academy's official 2016 Canadian Screen Awards nominee press conference. Uh, uh, Golja in Full Out, Aislinn Paul in Degrassi, Jordan Lockhart in Hiobi, and uh, Dahlia uh, Bella in Odd Squad, and Madison Ferguson in The Stanley Dynamic. Hey, it's later on. Um, they didn't announce all the nominees there. They only announced like a few categories. They said, which is crazy, they're giving out 130 awards this year. Like that's insane. I guess there's like 130 categories or something. I have no idea, but I actually just checked online and we did not get nominated. Yes. I'm just kidding, but you know, it doesn't matter that much because I was legit my first and right now I guess you could say only like professional job as talent. Talent is the uh, industry name for if you're like an actor or a host or something. And so that's fine. I mean it was my very first time but it was very fun. I don't even know if you guys know what I'm talking about. Let me show you a little clip. Let's have rectangular pupils. Goats have rectangular pupils. You think that's fake? Yes. Yeah. Julie you're wrong. You're not, your name's not Julie. No, it's not. Have I been calling you Julie for long? I just realized that now. Name's actually wasn't Julie. It's really awkward. I feel so bad. One more thing. This is weird to say, but um, I don't know if you know this because I put it out there sometimes, but not all the time because I don't want to be an annoying person who's like, I have faults like you. But um, I have a speech impediment. I have a thing called a stutter and a thing called a block, which I, I block a lot. Um, a block is like where you pause before you say a word. I do it on the letter B a lot, so if I say like block or bats, that's it. But um, it's weird because even though like that's a part about me that I've had for my entire life, it's weird that not only did I get cast as like a host for now, <laughs> National Geographic, but it's weird that I was uh, like the show that I was on where I was a host and the job of the host is to speak clearly and I can't even fucking do that but the show was considered for a uh, Canadian Screen Award um, which is weird mostly because it's my first ever thing I've done in the industry if you told grade 9 me that she would either be hosting or something and if you told grade 9 me that after my grade 9, my grade nine audition for Lissa Strata, which was a play I auditioned for. During the callback, I was given a script that I um, had never read before, and if you have a speech impediment, reading out loud is terrifying. And um, I had to read a script out loud in front of a whole bunch of kids that I had never met, and I failed so badly, I could not speak clearly, I couldn't get through it. I left that audition with 
so much anxiety and I left and I was very very shy for the next two years of high school and I cried to my mom in the car after that call back and I was like I'm not going to amount to anything if I can't speak because this this shouldn't be that hard for people but I can't I can't make words properly if you told grade 9 me that I'd be this person she'd probably kick you in the nuts tbh because she'd be like I'm never going to I'm never going to get a paying job as someone who can speak enthusiastically and clearly. So, listen to people out there. If, there, if there's something about you that's going to stand in the way of your dreams directly, such as speaking for me, um, it's, it, it's completely possible to overcome it. I never thought I'd be a host. That was the last thing I thought I'd be and then it was my first job and literally anything's possible and it's so crazy to believe that but when it happens to you, you will completely believe that anything is possible and you can do anything. Um, so that's it. I'm gonna- oh god, I'm so sappy. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Um, make sure you subscribe. Like, comment, let me know if you like these kinds of videos. Follow me on Twitter at Aaron is Confused, and I'll see you guys next week. I'm gonna have some cookies. Hope I'm right. Uh, let's face it, I'm probably not right. Should I grease this? No, we're all adults here. Hardcore parkour.